girls. Hey, what's up with it? How you guys doing? What's up? You ready to talk now? We got a little bit of time. So we could talk until um, Kenny get back here and all that kind of stuff. And before my homeboy called me back, okay, I've been sitting on the phone with this nigra all morning, okay? Y'all wonder where I get my game from, from these niggas I know. I, you know what, I have more homeboys, I have more men friends than I have women friends. I do. And oh my, and I'm talking about platonic male friends, you know. Not saying that them niggas don't want to hit, but, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have that exchange. And, but, you know, to just be in my company, to take me out, you know, we sit across the table and we laugh and talk shit. You know, we play dominoes. You know, I, I have a lot of male friends that's real cool. I got girl, female friends, too. Don't misunderstand. But my male friends, we talk so much shit. It's just, it, 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 it's just uncanny. It don't even make no sense. So that's where I get this shit from. So a lot of y'all be like, well, damn. I'm, I'm sensing a little pimping. Now, I ain't no pimping. It's just the fact that, you know, I got, I got, you know, I got a lot of bros that just keep me up on shit. You know, and, uh, you know, they like, well, shit, if I, if I can't have you as my woman, then shit, I gotta have you close. You know what I mean? One of them. Anyway, <clears throat> video a day in May, uh, vlog number 24, it is 10.04 in the a.m., how about that? And, um, we just gonna get caught up for a minute. I know I kind of, you know, didn't go all through it yesterday. I couldn't, because as soon as I was getting ready to go in, you see Kim came in. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn. You know, so at that point in time, I, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to hurt his feelings, you know? I don't want to hurt his feelings or nothing. And like, he just left from here a few minutes ago. Um, he's here today because he had a doctor's appointment. And um, so the guy is going to come back. The electrician, I'm having some um, some lights and things put up outside and, and throughout the house and stuff. <clears throat> He's changed now some of the recessed lighting. Um, uh, the, the, the switch for the chandelier over my bed, the switch is kind of tripping out. So, you know, I don't, I don't really fuck with electrical work. I much rather prefer to have a professional come in and do shit like that because you can have a fire behind your walls and all kinds of stuff. And it avoid out your warranties and all that. <clears throat> and um, my home warranty, um, it's like a $75 call out. But the thing is, they don't like to fuck with nothing that's pre-existing. Like they'll say, okay, well this is normal wear and tear or this is pre-existing and this and this and this. We don't want to do it, you know what I'm saying? And they'll deny your shit. But uh, they ain't got no problem with taking your money. So, anyway, that's a whole nother thing. That's when we on talking about some um, household shit, some domesticated guy shit. When we talk about business, you know what I mean? And therefore, we talk about such things. But your girl's pretty sharp. You know what I'm saying? I got to stay razor sharp. I got to stay razor sharp because, you know, I got to teach my kids what they need to know. And I don't want mine out in this motherfucking world, hooking and crooking, not knowing what the fuck is going on. Because you, you, I, I see so many ignorant grown folks and it looks crazy to me you know what i'm saying i mean well you just don't have no concept of how this motherfucking world works how this life is run you know and i've seen some very good and ignorance is bliss them motherfuckers actually get mad when you try to correct them that's when you know you're dealing with an ignorant ass motherfucker because they don't even want to be corrected it's like they don't i don't want to know it's like i i don't care you know what i'm saying and it's like uh you know, I just, you know, it starts at home. Teach your kids what they need to know because they are an extension of you. And when they leave the parameters of what you've taught them, then therefore they have to not only build their own experiences, but they can also fall back on the knowledge that you've once bestowed. Whatever that you put in them, then therefore they will draw from that later on. Okay? And, uh... <laughs> I just don't want mine out in this motherfucker acting crazy and looking crazy. You know, it's an election year. I'm going over delicates and, you know what I'm saying, super delicates and all that shit with my kids. My kids know what time it is. They already know how this election thing going, you know. And like I tell them, I was born and raised into being a Democrat. Yeah, that's all I know. But if you feel the need to, you know, research different parties or whatever, just because I'm a Democrat, that don't mean that you have to be a Democrat, you know. 
But do your own research, though. Look that shit up. Figure it all out. If it's something that, you know what I'm saying, don't allow somebody to put you in a box. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow somebody to just put you and say that you're this when you might not be that, you know. And one thing about us as black folks, a lot of times, we are whatever everybody else been. You know what I'm saying? If everybody grew up in the hood, we all grew up in the hood. If everybody was born and raised on welfare system and such and that shit, it just becomes generational. If everybody was, uh, you know what I'm saying, going to Church of God in Christ, we Church of God in Christ. We AME all the way, all the way through. But that don't, you know, no. I don't want to be in a box, you know, and I don't want my kids to be in a box either. I want them to totally understand and have an option. You know, but when they're getting the truth, they're getting the truth from me. You know, they have to have a place where they're getting the truth from. And the truth should always stem from you. That is why, um, I all, that is why I decided to tap into my higher self. And I wanted to know more about a lot of things. Because at the end of the day, your kids got to have somebody to come to. And if they can't come to you and know that they can rest their head in your bosom. And they know that you got them. And they know... That without a shadow of a doubt, my mama ain't going to lie to me. This is where the truth lies. This is the nucleus right here. This is the central station where my friends and everybody that I know can always go. My mama is going to be right there and she's going to be the truth. That is what I vow to my children is to be the truth to them. You know, they're going to go out and they're going to find their own way. Like I said, experience is the best teacher. I can only, you know, put you in the best of situations. But once you get of age, you're going to do what the fuck you want to do. Ain't nothing I can do about that. But at that point in time, you qualify for a jumpsuit. So if that's what you want to do, then therefore, what can I say? What can I do about that? But, you know, I, don't, I at that point in time, I can only do what the fuck I want to do. Once you get 18, nigga, it's an option on what the fuck I want to do. That's why... Up until 18, I'm trying to prepare them and get their minds right like my son. You know, from the get-go, okay, what's happening on, you know, school this, this, this. Or what we going to, we need to get a good job. Not just a job, we need to get a good job. That's going to sustain you the rest of your life and get you some consistency and some longevity going. You know, put you, put you some roots, start building you some roots and a foundation some motherfucking way. You know, get a piece of the rock. You know, and see... <clears throat> Yes, I'm, I have, like, you know, I tell my son all the time, and I talk to my kids all the time, even over the weekend and stuff, because my kids was like, you know, we were talking about different things, and then my daughter was talking about one of her friends, and I was telling her, I said, but you know, you don't know what this young lady is battling at home. You know, her and her family, her was well, just her and her mom, but them motherfuckers move almost every couple of months. It's like, damn, where in the fuck is y'all going? <coughs> It's too, it's too expensive to be moving. And to just constantly be moving and moving and moving and moving and moving. There's a breakdown somewhere. You know, there's a habit. There's something going on. In my opinion, I could be wrong. But I do know that when you make conscientious decisions and choices in your life, you know, then therefore God just ain't going to put you in no bad situations. You know, a lot of times... You know, we see things and don't see things and don't want to admit things, you know, and don't want to own it either, you know. And so, you know, you, God is going to keep you in that space until you learn all that you need to learn. And then it's going to go away. It's just going to eradicate. It's just going to disappear. Okay, I've learned everything that I need to learn on this stage right here, Father God. Okay, let's push forward on this journey. So now that that's what I constantly mention on peaks and valleys and you go through these different things. Right now, I'm in a peak. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm living my best life, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the light, okay? As I'm sitting up under, up, up under my skylight, I'm in the light, you know? Everything around me is flourishing and growing. You see my lilies and stuff, my, you know, everything is blooming and growing around me. And I'm just taking full advantage of it, you know? As well as um, remaining humble as well. You know, regardless of how I may come off or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is on some old clown and shit, nigga. I'll be full of sativa half the time any motherfucking way. You know what I mean? Nigga feeling good, don't give a fuck, nigga. It's what I said when I said it when I said it. You know what I mean? It's, it's that. You know? But hey, you know, I didn't I done put in enough motherfucking background work to where I qualify to do this now. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I had to pay. The prices that I had to pay. 
to get to where I'm at right now. And I had to make a lot of conscientious decisions. I had to be razor sharp. I could not smoke no motherfucking weed in my 20s and 30s. Nigga, I'd be fucked up now. Because the therefore, nigga, that put you in slow motion. You can't make no right decisions and shit. Nigga, don't ask me nothing. Don't ask me shit right now because I'm going to be fucked up. I ain't going to answer it right. You know, so, you know, <clears throat> I didn't uh, know anything about that life until I was over 40 years old. You know, so, you know, start, you know, really trying to figure out where you want to be when you become auntie's age. You know, and start working on that. If you want to get to a point where, nigga, I'm just sitting around this motherfucker just chilling. Okay, well, start, you know, start placing your, your, your building blocks where they need to be. Start sowing seeds, like I was saying um, years back. And I was like, you know, y'all be like, Auntie, what you got going on? I said, I'm so, sowing seeds for a six-month harvest. And then, you know, people used to be like, well, what? You sowing seeds, you sowing seeds. And I would say that all the time back in those videos back then. But now that, you know, things have come into harvest, then it's like, well, damn, when was you working on that? When was you working on your weight? When was you doing it? Because I've always been doing that. It's just the fact that while I'm working on something, I'm still highlighting this. I'm still having fun and talking shit about this. So you're not, you're totally oblivious to the background of what I got going on. And you're just concentrating on what I'm talking about now. Like right now, I'm working on shit to where as in months back, y'all gonna be like, damn bitch, when you do that? Well, I'm working on it now. I'm behind the scenes now. That's why I tell you guys all the time. Do not compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. I'm not where I want to be, okay? I have some things that I still want to do, you know. Um, I do believe in seven streams of income. So, yes, I, 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 got, I got shit that I need to be working on, okay? And, you know, but I'm taking it in sections. And I still, while I'm working on these things, I still have to raise children. I'm still trying to maintain some form of an adult exchange and relationship with a man, you know, then I'm trying to get past my past pain, you know, and then I'm trying to build equity in my home. So when I do decide that I want to pull off a hundred thousand off my house, you know, hell, I got the equity to do so. And then they ain't, ain't going to raise my motherfucking monthly payment up to, up to, I could take a hundred thousand dollars off. Okay. That, I have a lot of equity built up. Okay. So, which means, let's talk about this for a second. Ladies, when you guys begin to start buying your houses and stuff like that, or those of you guys that do, start fixing your house up around you and start fixing up your area. What you're doing is you're building the equity. You're building the market, the fair market value of what it is that you own. When you go online and they say, okay, this person's net worth is this, or this person's net worth is that, and then you'll see some people's shit be like $50,000. Some motherfuckers might be $250,000. Then you might see somebody's net worth might be $500,000. You know what I'm saying? So, but what goes in the account of that is everything that they own. Okay? That is their house. Whatever that's in their name. Like in my name, I have two vehicles. Because Anthony still ain't put the truck in his name. I was telling him that last night. He need to put the truck in his name. But I have two vehicles. Both of them are paid for. I have a home. You know, I have um, money that I invest. Um, and so my name is kind of, you know, I'm uh, attaching my name to some things that are going to reap me benefits later on. I might bite the bullet right now, buy these CDs and do this and this and this and this. But then later on, it's going to pay me out, you know. And so, you know, you just got to think about certain things. You know, what kind of legacy? What are you trying to leave for your children? A lot of black folks, we don't talk about insurance and shit like that. Baby, I got so much motherfucking insurance, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying years back, I got insurance on kids. You know what I mean? So, you know, insurance is very, very, very important. And one thing about um, us as a, as a community, we ain't on that. But what a lot of uh, us fail to realize is the fact that that's what a lot of other folks are doing. You know what I'm saying? They're thinking out of the box. You know, they get getting insurance. You know, some shit pop off. Somebody run up in your house and rob you blind. They burn your shit down and you don't have no insurance. I understand that it's expensive. Okay? I trip this out. Just to put it into perspective. 
Actually, my mortgage is two hundred and eighty something dollars a month. That's what my mortgage is. My principal and my interest. I got a two percent interest rate. That that lets you know what kind of credit I'm. You know what I'm saying? How how I'm working on me. I'm working on me. I'm not just working on my body. I'm working on my my soul. I'm working on my spirituality. I'm working on my parenting. I'm working on how I convey with people. I'm working on my relationships with men. I'm working on my relationships with women. I'm, I'm, I'm working on all kinds of things. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm even working on trying to get my own church home instead of visiting so many other people's. But, you know, when you're working, when you're concentrating on tapping into your higher self, you begin to see and witness things that other people just don't see. It's a trip. It's a trip on how it happens. Um, Tanya, uh, Rainy, my girl, um, this morning she had posted on her Facebook. And um, she was outside and she was listening to um, the birds and crickets and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and it's a trip on how a lot of people, when they, when they don't tap into their higher self, they don't hear absolutely nothing. They're so busy with moving around, moving and shaking the shit, the words you just don't, you know, just sit back and enjoy the fruits of this life. But I know that it is hard to do that sometimes when you're so, bomb so bombarded with so much shit. You know, I got bills to pay. I got a motherfucker over here that motherfucker want to whip up on my head every week. Or I got a nigga that every time he get paid on Fridays, he ain't coming back home till Sunday. Because this motherfucker out here, either he on pussy or he on some dope. You know what I'm saying? Nigga gonna come back, motherfucker say I got robbed. Come back and say, oh, my check was, you know what I'm saying? They docked me such and such hours. Come in with some bullshit. It's a lot of women that straight dealing with some shit. I understand. Okay, I that was not my issue, but I did have an issue with my husband whether or not he was gonna come home or not, and he been, he been licking on pussy half the night. You understand me? So see, that's that, that's where that's the shit that fucked my shit up. Okay, it wasn't the fact that he was out here smoked out. It wasn't the fact that he was dusting my head because he had never laid a hand on me. We ain't never had that kind of problem. You know what I'm saying? But you let a bitch grin at that motherfucker. Nigga, they fucking in the parking lot. Put these seats up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. You know? And it wasn't until one day I was like, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I can't no longer do this right here. I, this, ain't, this ain't my regime. You know? And it took me a very long time for me to realize and figure out that this is not my end of the day. And this is not where I'm trying to go with things. You know what I mean? I have a daughter right here and I have two sons and I can't let them see me go out like this because then therefore they're going to be making these same type of motherfucking choices because they're going to think that this shit is cool and it's not cool. And just like right now in my relationship status right now, I couldn't really all go through all that like that because I ain't trying to really hurt his feelings. I know that he's in them right now. He's in them because he don't have no understanding that Tina loves you but Tina want to love you from a distance. Nigga, you done done too motherfucking much. And like a few minutes ago, you want to keep chalking me up on some yesteryear shit. Yeah, nigga, yesteryear, motherfucker, but you was habitual with it. It wasn't like you made one um, mistake or you made two. No, nigga, them was decisions that you was making. And I was still holding it down for your motherfucking ass. But, but now that I'm sitting up here and I'm like, nigga, all right, check this out. Nigga, I'm cool. Now here you come with... Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. I promise to God. And as God is my witness, a stack of Bibles right here, I'm going to put my hand on it. Nigga, if you don't knock it off, please, knock it off. I got a daughter right here. I got sons and shit. You know what I mean? Why can't we just be cool? Because when you was out here running a monk and doing all this foolishness, you know what I'm saying? I'm still over here on some Proverbs 31 shit, still taking care of my kids, my home. I'm doing all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? Building shit. Contractors over here. They putting in this. They this, this, this. I did this by myself. Listen to me. Ladies, I did that by myself. Okay? It took it took me so much time, money. My shit still ain't done, motherfucker. Well, how come you ain't got no uh uh um crown molding, bitch? I own this right here. I can put crown molding on this motherfucker in 11 more goddamn years if I choose to wait. But check this out, though. I got something to put some crown molding on. But not only that, though, check this out. When you got to make sure every motherfucking thing is done, baby, you get lost in the sauce on some things. Shit is half-ass done. My floor, low-key, um, there's a patch over there that, you know, because when we, when we had bought this flooring, 
Um, I assumed that I had bought all I had. It was this flooring place out in Norco. I know y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but Norco Corona area. And um, it was, you know, and it was nice. But I bought all that they had, and I thought that it was enough. But like I told y'all before, my bedroom is huge. We ran out of motherfucking flooring. Now, b before we get to putting up baseboards and shit, we can't put that shit up until we change this motherfucking shit out. You know what I'm saying? But I want my baseboards to also match my crown. So then, therefore, hell, I ain't done it right now. But shit, who gives a fuck? Nigga, if you don't check out the rest of this motherfucking shit and this motherfucking nigga, do you see that? Is that an office? A full motherfucking office, nigga? With a with a whole a whole big ass desk and everything in that copy machines and shit yeah you ain't look listen <laughs> when I come on this motherfucker sometimes I need to be one nation under the group because you don't know what the fuck I'm battling you don't know what the fuck I'm thinking about you don't know what the fuck I'm uh, you know I got to handle I have a, a lot to handle last night my son was telling me, he said well mom. <clears throat> Because I know this electrical shit is going to be high. I got them changing out all kind of motherfucking garage lights. You know, the pedestal lights and shit and garage outside lights and shit. And all kind of stuff. Anyway, so my son said, Mom, I'll pay half. Ain't that something? My son ain't but 19 motherfucking years old. It just, you know, it just made me just like, oh my God, you know? It's like my kids are recognizing what it is that I do. They're recognizing um, my diligence. This is hard as a motherfucker to come on here and talk every day when you're not going with no script, when you're not having somebody help set it up, when you ain't got somebody on the side um, doing the editing for you, when you don't have somebody on the side with content saying, okay, well, this is what we're going to talk about today and we're going to do this. I ain't got that. All I got is a real motherfucker coming on this motherfucker and spitting the straight up trio. That's it. Sometimes I'm telling more shit than I need to. But at the end of the day, I know that somebody is going to be like, you know what, damn, I just had a light bulb moment on that shit. Yeah, she, she did. Yeah. <clears throat> Girls, let me tell you something. I have, I'm feeling some things that I, I forgot what they felt like. I've allowed my heart to take this chance. Not saying that it's going to be fruitful, beneficial, or whatever, but I know that it will be a lesson. <clears throat> I'm no slouch. I'm not stupid. I'm not juvenile nor naive. I'm a very, very, very smart woman that has been through a whole lot of shit. As I said before, I didn't get this way through osmosis. I got this way through life experiences and life lessons, Okay. My mama didn't sit down with me and walk me through the tulips on how this life was going to be. I got no instruction manual, no nothing. I just jumped in it, got married young, and, you know, I just did the best that I could. But I knew that I had to be sober, and I had to be cognizant, you know what I'm saying? And I knew that um, the decisions that I had to make, could I live with them the rest of my life? There were so many days that I prayed and I cried and I prayed and I cried and I read. I would read the Bible to Susie Orman books. That's what gave me a lot of my knowledge about finances. <clears throat> I would read Stormy O. Martin books to teach me how to pray. How to pray for my kids. How to pray for me because I was like, okay, I'm the power of the praying woman, you know. Pray for my husband, pray for my marriage. I had to pray, 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 pray. So, just because a person might cuss a lot, that's just the way I convey, okay? A lot of times, <clears throat> it's the outer shell coating of something that's very mushy on the inside, you know? And that's just who I am. 